so welcome back guys in the previous video we created the um the role in this page and in this video we're actually going to create uh, actually get to creating the roles proper so um before i start i want to say if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so and click on the notification button to uh to know whenever i'm putting out a new video so uh to so the next thing we actually need to do is actually create the create blade file so to do that it's actually simple but before then we need to need to create the method so in the method we actually need to return a view right here a view and this view is actually going to be Roll dot create and that's all so let's create the view right now and if you go back to if you go back to the role folder let's create a new a new view right here and let's just call it create dot blade dot php so if you go back to the document it to the project uh code you're going to find the code right here and i'm actually going to copy and paste it so this is all this is the code and uh to to do this we actually need to remove this for now because i haven't created the view component for that and i think uh we're done here so if we should if we should click on this right now so we have this right here and we should go over so the next thing we actually need to do is create the view component to do that it's actually simple it's actually very simple to create view component so um, let's just create it first and uh, I'll explain how it works to you so before then we we need to actually uh, we need to actually implement our view view let us just create a constant and call this up and this will be the new view and we say l which means element and this will be equal to up so what this actually means is um so this is going to look into our code anywhere we have an idea of app is going to implement all our view js inside the div or inside the element so if we don't have any element that has an idea of div it's not going to work so all our view js js code is going to be within that element with an idea of div so hopefully this makes sense to you and let's just go back to our admin and uh, i want to create i want the body to have an id of div so i already have it right there so if we should refresh right now So let's just preview this if we're getting any error or not. Let's go over to our console. You can see we're not getting any error. That means we're right on track. The next thing we actually need to do is actually create the rule component. We go over to view and uh, in Laravel it. Uh, in Laravel 8, you have to create the component folder yourself because uh, because they've changed a lot of things in Laravel 8. Unlike Laravel 7, when you have this pre every all the code pre written for you, the code has been written before. But now we need to actually install view by ourselves. We need to actually implement view and we need to do a lot of things by ourselves so uh, that's 
that's Laravelit, and uh, let's just do that. Let's just create our component folder right here. Now, call this component net. And in this folder, I want to create a new file. I'll call it row dot view. So this is going to be a view file, and now uh, I've created the view file. So let's just test it out and say template. template sorry uh I just template so I'm actually going to say a one dash h one so I'm just going to say um a view component so let's just remove this right here. Uh, hopefully, yeah, that's all. And we actually need to we actually need to declare the component. And to do that, it's actually simple. So let's just say view dot component. And this will be a row. And right here we are actually going to require that view. So I'm going to say require. And right here I will say component. And I'll say row dot view. And right here I will say it's default. So default. So we've gotten the view file and we've actually required it the next thing we need to do is actually use that company so when i say view um, i'll close it right here so we declared so we declared um the view components globally globally uh, we declared it globally so that we can use it anywhere in our application um, that's just my style of coding i'd use I declare all my components globally because I want to use them. I can use them anywhere in my application. So if we should refresh right now. So we're not getting that view. That means we have an error. So let's just check for the error. And it said row. Do we actually create this correctly? Um, we actually did we created it correctly. And uh, let's check. Oh, oh. So uh, I don't think we actually make made any mistake. We didn't. Um, but the problem is we didn't actually start. We didn't run our npm server. So I'm just going to say npm run watch. And I'm just going to wait for that to compile. So our view has finished compiling, and uh, we have an error right here. Actually, uh, we actually need to close this div, and that's all. So if we should refresh right now, let's see. I just wait for that to load. So we have that component right here, and you can see we should come over to our div, uh, view uh, tools, and we see that component right here is visible right here. So uh, in the next video, we're actually going to get to creating um, sending requests and uh, getting requests using Azios. We're actually going to install Azios in our next video, and I'll see you then. Bye.